the audio listener component is the equivalent of your ears in the game. It receives or listens to audio sources that are in the game world. The control of the audio's behavior is done on the audio source component, and therefore the listener itself has no settings. This is attached to a camera in your scene by default, but can be placed on any object. Often this is attached to a character, and crucially there can be only one listener per scene in order for it to function correctly. You can test an audio listener from any position in the world by moving the scene camera around with the audio preview toggle enabled. This gives you live testing of audio sources in your environment without having to move the real listener or playtest the game. Audio sources are components that play back audio. Think of them as speakers in the game world. In this example, our turbine has an audio source attached with a turbine audio clip that's been applied to it. We can assign a clip by dragging and dropping or by using code to select a clip to play. We can mute, bypass any filters, choose whether to play this audio source on awake, i.e. when the game begins, and whether to loop the clip. Priority varies between 0 and 255, 0 being the highest priority. It's advisable to have music set as the highest priority to avoid other clips swapping out when many clips are being played at once. Volume determines how loud the clip is played based on its original waveform. Pitch controls the pitch of a clip. If you're working with 3D sounds, the settings are more detailed. Doppler level defines how much the Doppler effect will be used. This is a perceived shift in frequency as the listener, or the ear in real terms, is moving past the sound source. It will seem higher approaching it, and lower as it moves away. Think of an emergency vehicle siren as it passes you, for example. Volume roll-off defines the type of roll-off to be used by the sound, as the listener moves away from it. This can be logarithmic, linear, or customized manually using a curve and adding keys as shown. The minimum distance defines how close to play the sound at full volume. So if you're designing 3D sound, use this value to make the sound source louder. This can be adjusted using the spherical gizmo in the scene view. and it works in conjunction with the maximum distance setting below, which by default is set to 500 meters, and is a distance after which the sound rolls off. Pan level defines how truly 3D the sound is. This defaults to one for 3D sound, making it fully pan when the stereo listener is moved by it. Spread is the control of the angle of spread from 3D stereo to multi-channel sound. Finally, for 2D sound, pan can be controlled at the bottom of the component. As a rule, elements such as music should be set to 2D sound, whilst diegetic sound that should be fading realistically should be set up as 3D and positioned accordingly. The 2D and 3D values of a sound are controlled by an audio clip's import settings. When selecting a clip in the project, you'll be able to see the import settings in the inspector. You can choose the audio format to use, whether it should be 3D or 2D sound, whether you want to force your stereo sound to mono, how to load it, and what compression to use. You can also preview sound at the bottom, choose whether to loop whilst previewing, and set the inspector to autoplay whilst browsing through clips.